Hello dear students, I'm pharmacology teacher and the topic of today our lecture it is antidepressive drugs. What is it depression? Uh, the symptoms of depression are a feeling of sadness and hopelessness, as well as the inability to experience pleasure in usual activities, changes in sleep patterns and appetite, loss of energy and suicidal thoughts. Mania is characterized by the opposite behavior, enthusiasm, anger, rapid thought and speech patterns, extreme self-confidence and import judgment. This chapter provides an overview of drugs used for the treatment of depression and mania. In this picture, students, you can see a synapse. What is its synapse? What is most important thing in synapse? As you see, we have synaptic cleft, we have presynaptic part of synapse and postsynaptic part of synapse. What the red dots? These red dots, it is neurotransmitters. It might be serotonin and also it might be norepinephrine. What the bubbles? Bubbles, it is vesicles. From these vesicles, serotonin and norepinephrine is released from presynaptic part of synapse. So what is it depression? We have a bioamine theory and according of bioamine theory, depression it is low level of serotonin and norepinephrine in synaptic cleft. What is the blue and red uh, thing at the bottom of this picture? It is receptors, receptors of serotonin and receptors of norepinephrine. So what's the mechanism of depression? From presynaptic cleft, uh, serotonin and, on and norepinephrine have to be released. But in depression we have reuptake agent. This reuptake agent take serotonin and norepinephrine and get it back to presynaptic part of synapse. Our goal to serotonin and norepinephrine have direction from presynaptic part to postsynaptic part to the receptors of serotonin and norepinephrine. Mechanism of action most clinically useful antidepressant drugs potentiate either directly or indirectly the actions of norepinephrine and or serotonin, it is 5-HT, in the brain. This along with other evidence led to the biogenic amine theory, which proposes that depression is due to a deficiency of monoamines such as norepinephrine and serotonin at certain case sites in the brain. Conversely, the theory proposes that mania is caused by an overproduction of these neurotransmitters. However, the biogenic amine theory of depression and mania is overly simplistic. It fails to explain the pharmacological effect of any of the antidepressant and anti-mania drugs on neurotransmission, which often occur immediately. However, the time course for a therapeutic response occur over several weeks. This suggests that a decreased reuptake of neurotransmitters is only an initial effect of the drugs which may not be directly responsible for the antidepressant effect. The selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, are a group of antidepressant drugs that specifically inhibit serotonin reuptake, having 300 to 3000 fold greater selectivity for the serotonin transporter as compared to the norepinephrine transporter. This contrasts with the tricyclic antidepressants and serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors SNRIs that non-selectively inhibit the reuptake of norepinephrine and serotonin. Okay guys, it is classification of uh, our group of drugs that we use in uh, depression. Uh, first group it is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors SSRI. Uh, which uh, drugs we have? We have citalopram, escitalopram, fluoxetine, uh, fluvoxamine, paroxetine and sertraline. 
Red words, it is name of drugs that you can find in pharmacy. Second uh, group, it is serotonin, norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs. It is, it is desvenlafaxine, duloxetine, levomil, nasipran, and venlafaxine. Next group, it is atypical antidepressants. It is bupropion, mirtazapine, nefazadone, trazodone, vialazodone, and vortioxetine. Tricyclic antidepressants. It is amitriptyline, amoxaprine, clomipramine, desapramine, doxepine, imipramine, maprotiline, nortriptyline, protriptyline, and trimipramine. Next group, it is monoamine oxidase inhibitors. It is isocarboxazide, phenylzine, selegiline, and and tranyl sapromine. Okay guys, let's talk about fluoxetine. Fluoxetine is a type of antidepressant known as an SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. It is often used to treat depression and also sometimes obsessive compulsive disorder and bulimia. Fluoxetine helps many people recover from depression and it has fever unwanted effects than older antidepressants. Fluoxetine is available only on prescription. It comes as tablets and capsules. Fluoxetine is frequently used to treat uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, bulimia nervosa, panic disorder, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, and trichotillomania. Adult dose of fluoxetine for bulimia. Comments. Some patients may need to be started at a lower dose and titrated up over several days to the recommended dose. Daily doses greater than 60 mg have not been systematically studied for the treatment of bulimia. Use. Acute and maintenance treatment of bring eating and vomiting behaviors in moderate to severe bulimia nervosa. Adult dose for depression. Immediate release oral formulations. Initial dose it is 20 mg orally once a day in the morning, increased after several weeks if sufficient clinical improvement is not observed. Maintenance dose it is 20 to 60 mg orally per day and maximum dose it is 80 mg orally per day. Delayed release oral capsules. Initial dose it is 90 mg orally once a week, commenced 7 days after the last daily dose of immediate release fluoxetine 20 mg formulations. Comments. Doses above 20 mg per day may be given in divided doses in the morning and at noon. The full effect may be delayed until after at least 4 weeks of treatment. If a satisfactory response with the once weekly oral fluoxetine is not maintained, a change back to daily fluoxetine dosing uses uh, using the immediate release oral formulations shall be considered. Acute episodes of major depressive disorder require several months of longer of sustained pharmacological therapy. Whether the dose needed to induce remission is the same as the dose needed to maintain and or sustain atemia is unknown. Use acute and maintenance treatment of MDD. Adult dose for obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, same with previous disease, with depression. Yes? Uh, what's the difference? Difference in the comments. Uh, doses above 20 per day also may be given in divided doses in the morning at the noon and the full effect may be delayed until uh, after at least 5 weeks of treatment. Use acute and maintenance treatment of obsession and compulsion in patients with obsessive compulsive disorders. 
Adult dose of panic disorder. Uh, in panic disorder, we have difference between uh, almost all uh, different diseases. What's the difference? It is initial dose. Uh, initial dose in panic disorder will be 10 mg orally once a day, increased after one week to 20 mg orally once a day. Maintenance dose also 20 to 60 mg orally per day, and maximum dose it is also 60 mg orally per day. Yes? Comments. Doses above 20 mg per day may be given in divided doses in the morning and at noon. A dose increase may be considered after several weeks if clinical improvement is not observed. Doses greater than 60 mg per day have not been systematically studied for the treatment of panic disorder. Use acute treatment of panic disorder with and without agoraphobia. Adult dose form premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Same. Side effects of fluoxetine, guys. More common side effects. It is hives, itching or skin rash, inability to sit still, restlessness. Less common side effects. It is chills or fever and joint or muscle pain. Rare side effects. It is anxiety, cold sweats, confusion, convulsion and cool pale skin. Now let's talk about amitriptyline. Adult dose for depression. Outpatients. Initial dose it is 75 mg orally per day in divided doses. This may be increased to 150 mg day if it needed. Maintaining dose 40 to 100 mg orally per day and maximum dose it is until 150 mg day. Alternate outpatient treatment regimen 50 to 100 mg orally as a single dose at bedtime. This may be increased by 25 or 50 mg as needed at bedtime to a total dose 150 mg day. For inpatients, initial dose it is 100 mg orally per day. Maintenance dose it is 40 to 100 mg orally as a single dose at bedtime. And maximum dose it is 3 100 mg day. What's the comments? Dose increases should preferably be made in the late afternoon or at bedtime due to the sedative effect. The full therapeutic effect may take as long as 30 days to develop. Maintenance doses should be reduced to the lowest amount that will maintain relief of symptoms when satisfactory improvement has been obtained. Maintenance therapy should be continued for 3 months or longer to lessen this possibility of relapse. Use relief of symptoms of depression. Amitriptyline side effects. Abdominal and stomach pain. Agitation. Black terrace stools. Bleeding gums. Blood in urine or stools, blurred vision, chest pain or discomfort, cold sweats, coma. Okay, students, thank you for your attention. I hope you will get only marks 5. Good luck.